It's been one week since you looked at me Cocked your head to the side and said I'm angry Five days since you laughed at me Saying get back together, come back and see me Okay, 6-2 part B. Now we're going to take a look at some quadratic equations and we'll be taking square roots and absolute values in order to do this, to solve them. Let's begin with x squared is equal to 36. We want to find all the x's in the world for which this is true. All right. Well, now to do this algebraically we need to get the x by itself so we need to remove that square well, the operation that will remove a square is a square root. So let's take a look. The square root of x squared is going to be equal to the square root of 36. Well, we know that the square root of x squared is equal to the absolute value of x. We know that when we do this, we'll get a positive number, or 0. Now, over here, the square root of 36 is going to be 6. Okay. Now, remember, the x in here, there are two possible options for this. If the absolute value of x is 6, there are two numbers that will do this. So, x might be equal to 6, or x might be equal to negative 6. And you've got to consider both of these which is why they always tell you that there's a positive root and a negative root when you're learning square roots at the very, very beginning. Okay, But this notation is universally accepted to be the positive square root. If you specifically want to speak of the negative root, they usually put a little negative sign in front of the radical. But when solving quadratics, you have to find every number in the world for which the equation is true. So we have to take it the whole way down here and we have to make sure we mention both of these. All right, here's another neat problem. Can a circle have the same area as a square? All right, well, let's try it. If it's possible, I should be able to algebraically solve for r and get 100, because the area here is 100 square units. So I should be able to, if it's possible, find some r that's going to generate 100 square units. All right, now remember, the area of a circle is pi times its radius squared. So what we're going to try and do here is find some radius that will give me 100 <clears throat> when squared and multiplied by pi. So in other words, we're solving a quadratic equation. We want to find the radius. All right, so we've got to divide through by pi. 100 divided by pi is equal to r squared. Okay. Now we don't want r squared, we just want r, so we have to take the square root of both sides of the equation. And that's going to give me 100, the square root of 100 over pi is equal to r. All right. Now, remember, <clears throat> all square roots have positive and negatives. And technically speaking, we should write the notation like that, although most people skip this step. Now this is an actual word problem. The negative root here does not make sense because you can't have a negative radius. So we are safe to say that the radius in this case is exactly equal to the square root of 100 over pi. Now, huh, 100 over pi. Pi is a decimal that goes on forever and never, ever repeats. If I take that and divide it into 100, I'm going to get another decimal that goes on and on forever and never repeats. And then when I, divide, or I take the square root of that decimal, I'm going to get another decimal that goes on and on forever and never repeats. So we can come very, very close to 100, but since this is not a rational number, you're not going to ever get it exactly equal to 100 but you can get microscopically close. So the answer is kind of yes and no. All right, now, we really do need to talk about the difference between rational numbers and irrational numbers. And you may or may not have had this in your uh, first year algebra class. So we recommend that you go 
to the algebra course on our videos and look at the movie entitled View Irrational Square Roots for a discussion of irrational versus rational numbers. It's been one week since you looked at me Cocked your head to the sides and I'm angry Five days since you laughed at me Saying get back together, come back and see